And it's actually quite lightly painted. There are areas of lifting, happy, beautiful paintings. It's a special moment um, in the auction world when you bring a Klimt painting to auction because they are exceptionally rare. And we haven't seen a landscape by Klimt um, on the market since 2010. So it's been a long wait. We've experienced an extraordinary growth in the interest of Asian collectors in Western art. And I'm speaking from the perspective of the Impressionist and Modern Art um, Department at Sotheby's, where we've experienced an extraordinary increase in just the past five years. I can give you an example. The um, underbidder activity has increased by 40%. Now, underbidders are the, the unfortunate um, participants in an auction who don't win the painting, but because they're interested in it, they've tried to acquire it, but they've been outbid. But we've also seen um, in the global Impressions Modern Art market an extraordinary 69% increase in the number of buyers of Western art from, from Asian sources, and that's been um, really quite a groundbreaking movement. Over those past four or five years um, under the occupation in Paris, he was unable to exhibit uh, any of his paintings publicly because he was under the watchful eye of the Gestapo. And um, his way of protesting the occupation was to um, paint not overt political um, commentary, but to do works that, that could be read to represent the difficulties of that time. And what makes it important is that this comes at a time of great hope. Uh, if you were living in Paris in August uh, 1944, you could hear the bombs and gunfire as the Allied forces approached Paris for the liberation. So it's a painting that is infused with not just um, aspirations for liberation, but aspirations of a new um, future. And hence, he, he chose to depict the tomato plant, which um, has been um, a symbol of, um, of um, being able to, of resilience, of being able to withstand um, the forces of um, evil. <laughs> Thank you.